was we approach the fourth weekend of boys high school basketball within the N10. There is one team that remains undefeated, and that is Colonel Crawford. The Eagles making a significant statement when they paid a visit to the home of the reigning champions. On December 10th, the Colonel Crawford Eagles arrived to the first hand Dusky with a quiet confidence, but an understanding of the task ahead. Last season on this very floor, the home Rams were at their devastating best, defeating Colonel Crawford by 29. Although the Eagles won the remainder of their regular season games, they were no longer able to catch the Rams, who claimed the N10 title. Both teams had seniors who graduated, and both had plenty who were packed to play again. For this year's game, nothing would be left to chance. Colonel Crawford was determined that this year would be different. But the Rams came out aggressively. Off to a quick start. In response, the Eagles spread out to the perimeter with Mason Studer and Nolan McKibben. The Eagles had set the tone that they would not go quietly, that they would have to be dealt with until the very end. In the second half, Chase Walker decided it was time for him to score. Soaring to the hoop with finger rolls and jams. And Carter Valentine picked up his scoring as well, leading everyone with 26. Trailing by double digits, Upper Sandusky attempted to chip away. But the Eagles, battle-tested, refused to surrender the game as Walker continued to rebound and play tough D. And score, finishing with 17. Studer tallied 11. The feeling that the Eagles had here one season ago, this time was being experienced by the Rams. There would be no miracle comeback. Colonel Crawford secured the victory, 70-44. It's just a great win. We all played together. We did our roles and came out with a big win. You know, I'm proud of our guys. And it started on the defensive end. You know, we had to take their two bigs away, and I thought we banged all night, you know, with our football guys and uh, a defensive start. And then offensively, you look at our big three did with uh, Carter Valentine, Chase Walker, and Mason Studer. And the key to this team is everybody around knows what their role is, what our job is at both ends of the floor. And it was just a great overall team effort by our guys tonight. I definitely think we can go far, but we got to take it one game at a time. Well, Colonel Crawford's next game is at home Friday night against Mohawk. And the Mohawk Warriors actually undefeated within in 10 play. Their lone loss out of conference to Hopewell Loudon. They're going to get uh, unbelievable execution from Crawford. They're going to play hard nosed basketball. They're going to do exactly what they have to do uh, to win the game. So we're going to have to match that. You know, we're going to have to to match their intensity and, and be able to handle some of the, the the great players they have on their team, um, with Chase Walker and Valentine and other guys around them. They're a really good team. So yeah, we've got a challenge, but I think our guys, you know, I think they're ready for it. As for Upper Sandusky, the Rams have plenty of time to turn things around, but they know. They've got some serious work to put in right now. Well, we got to play smarter, and we have to play, play tougher. You know, I thought they out-toughed us tonight. That's why they get 18 offensive rebounds, and they get loose balls, and, and um, we don't get in the post enough, and they played smarter than we did tonight. You know, foul some three-point shooters, don't match up on their best shooter, uh, step out of bounds on a, you know, on a pat. I mean, just, just – did not play smart all night long. Didn't communicate on baseline out of bounds plays. Gave up some layups there. So, you know, it's up to us to fix us and, and, and play smarter and play tougher. We'll be checking out their progress this weekend as our next broadcast game is this Friday night from Upper Sandusky. The Rams hosting the Cary Blue Devils. We just got to be more sound defensively. I mean, we do fly around and take some risk and some chances, but at the same time, we always got to have that back line defense ready to go. And offensively, we just got to we just got to get more in tune offensively. I mean, when we're in half court, when we're when we're transitioning, we we flow pretty good. But once we're in half court, we kind of stall and the ball stands, stays in one place, and we got to be able to move, get some flow going offensively in a half court. It turns out that Cary's only lost so far this season to Colonel Crawford.
Game time, 7.30. Hope you can join us for all the live play-by-play, which we'll have for you on Magic 95.9, magic95.9.com, and the free iHeartRadio app.